तो स्टूडेंट्स बात चल रही है फिजिकल स्ट्रक्चर की फिजिकल टोपोलॉजी की हम लोगों ने कुछ लिंक्स के बारे में पढ़ा कुछ नोट्स के बारे में पढ़ा एंड देन वी स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन ऑफ नेटवर्क टोपोलॉजी स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड द फर्स्ट ऑफ द फोर टोपोलॉजीज दैट वी स्पोक अबाउट व्हिच इज द मैश टोपोलॉजी एज यू कैन सी द मैश टोपोलॉजी इज गॉट अ डेडिकेटेड लिंक फॉर एवरी सिंगल नोड एंड द नेबरिंग नोड टू कनेक्ट इट फाइव स्टेशन फाइव नोड मैश नेटवर्क number of links required full duplex link requ links required was 10 ab students moving on we have got the second physical topology which is called the star topology students in a star topology as you can see there is a dedicated link from every single node from every single machine to a centralized point or a centralized server which is called as a hub now students मैश टेपोलॉजी में आपने देखा था कि हर डिवाइस एक दूसरे से डायरेक्ट लिंक के जरिए कनेक्टेड थी स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस दैट इज नॉट द सिनेरियो स्टार टेपोलॉजी में द हब प्लेज द रोल ऑफ अ सेंट्रल एक्सचेंज द टू डिवाइसेस और वट एवर नंबर ऑफ डिवाइसेज दर आर कनेक्टेड इन अ स्टार टेपोलॉजी दे डू नॉट टॉक टू ईच अदर डायरेक्टली एवरी सिंगल डिवाइस टॉक्स टू द हब एंड If, for example, a machine A or a device A, if it wants to send something to device B, the normal path that's taken is from the A machine A to the hub, and then from the hub back to machine B. Now, students, as you can see, this. the a clear advantage of this particular topology is that it requires a lot less cabling a lot less number of nodes humne dekha tha ki ek five node mesh topology ke andar every machine needed to have at least four io nodes input output nodes in this particular case of star topology you will have only one node that is required for every single device the number of links that we needed in a mesh topology was 10 the number of links that is required in a star topology of four devices is only four one link each that is required to connect a device to the hub students in this particular case as well just like mesh the fault identification is very easy if the hub cannot talk to a particular machine say a uh, machine number a this link will be shown as broken and therefore we will know that we need to go back and we need to fix the fault or fix the break with one particular link so fault identification is very easy students the biggest disadvantage of the star topology is that the whole network is dependent upon a centralized exchange server which is called as a hub the hub is a piece of hardware which is actually a centralized connection point for every single device in this particular topology what happens if this hub breaks we will essentially lose uh, the whole network and so so we are what we are doing is we are isolating we have made uh, this hub a single point of failure for the whole network essentially if you are using this topology students in this uh, particular case you can see that the cabling is lesser than the cabling that's required for a mesh topology but as you will see uh, this is still more cable than for example a bus topology would have so remember the discussion that we had on a multi point uh, connection a single bus that's originating from a server with multiple devices attached to that single bus using a tap will only use one centralized channel or one centralized link as compared to the number of links used in a star topology in the star topology uh, if you have got n devices you will need n links to be connected to the hub so students uh, we have discussed the mesh topology 
and we have discussed the star topology. Now, we are going to talk about the bus and the ring topologies.